Hey, 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 it's Carmina with the Fit and Healthy After 40 Club. Do you have an office job and do you spend a good part of your day sitting like I do behind a desk? If that's you, you may suffer from the sitting disease. The term sitting disease refers to the effects um, and the metabolic syndrome of an overly sedentary lifestyle. When where you sit around a lot, you might think to yourself, well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't apply to me because I exercise on the regular, right? And you may think that um, exercising would actually counteract the, the effects of sitting around too much. Well, the bad news is that that's not true. One thing that, um, that we do inside my new program is walking together on Saturday morning. So we get together on a conference call and we walk and we talk. And all you need is a headphone and a pair of walking shoes. Now, I know that making time for exercise can sometimes feel overwhelming. You know, like just one more thing on your I should do list, right? And you simply lack the motivation. I totally get it. You're busy, you're tired, and at the end of the day, the only thing you have energy for is Netflix, right? And the thing is, even if you don't have a, a workout routine yet, not sitting around all day is a good place to start. So here's something I want you to think about. Even if you go to the gym five times a week, even if you go for a jog on a daily, you can still experience the negative effects of a sedentary lifestyle. Think of it this way. If you exercise one hour a day, but you spend the remaining 23 hours doing nothing, you will be in much worse condition than a person who spends only three to four hours a day sitting. Does that make sense? Okay. But in case we haven't met yet, my name is Carmina Mez. I'm a certified precision nutrition coach, and I work with women who want to flatten their belly and lose at least 10 pounds naturally. Now, some of my favorite client stories come from Walk It Off. It's a virtual walking club that I've been running for the past three years. And one of our goals inside of the club is to, to walk a thousand miles documented in a year. And the stories that come out of this group are so inspiring. The philosophy of Walk It Off and its success stories, they are all captured in my book by the same name that you can find on Amazon, by the way. All right? That's a hard copy, but it's on Amazon. The American Health Association says that in order for someone to be healthy, they need to spend 150 minutes exercising every week. Now, in order to avoid any of the health risks that come along with the sitting disease, it's best for you to find new ways to infuse more activities in your daily life. So some of the best things that you can do include things like monitoring how many steps you take daily. This can serve as a great motivator as it will push you towards a goal, you know, as opposed to not doing anything at all. Right, um, aim for 5,000 steps at the minimum, but 10,000 um, is really what you should shoot for. Also, there's the 282 rule. It's a popular rule that was brought forward by health experts who say that for every 20 minutes that you spend sitting down, you should stand for eight and move around for two, right? And listen, don't stop your workout routine if you have one you should still continue to do at least 30 minutes of exercising five times a week. That's where the 150 comes from. And overall, just find excuses to move around more because the next time you go to work, make sure you park your car further or take the stairs or take the long way around, right? Super easy, barely an inconvenience. All right. And just so you know, I'm launching a brand new program in January 2020, especially for women over 40 who want to flatten their belly and lose at least 10 pounds in the next 90 days. It's an online program, so you can join from anywhere in the world. Right now, I'm down to four. I'm looking for four women to test it out at a huge discount and help me work out the kinks and get amazing results that I can later use as a case study. 
If that's you, comment below, tell me more, and I will message you the details. All right? So that's it for today. Go out, take a walk, and stay away from the sitting disease. <laughs> All right. That's it. See you soon. Bye for now.